Hi friends, Dr. Kat here. And in the last video, we talked about the vagus nerve. Today, we're gonna to get into a little analogy to explain more about how the vagus nerve functions. I heard this recently and I loved this analogy that the brain is like the CEO making big decisions and your vagus nerve is like the COO, the chief operating officer, which is quietly feeding data to the CEO and shaping the decisions in the brain and your immune cells, your mitochondria, your organs, well, they're the whole rest of the team. So if the COO, the vagus nerve, is overloaded, misreporting, or working on bad intel, the CEO, which is the brain, keeps making decisions as if we're in a war, when what we really need is a calm boardroom meeting. So let's meet the team. The brain is the CEO, the vagus nerve, the COO, the immune system, the cellular system, well, they're the team, like I said. So think of it like this, your body is an organization. The brain, the CEO is making a lot of big calls and it's based on, am I safe or am I not safe? The brain cannot make decisions of going into repair mode if it's not getting a signal of safety. Why does this matter? Well, if your vagus nerve, the COO, is constantly gathering information from the team, the body, and telling the brain CEO that there is a war going on, that things are not safe, your immune cells, your mitochondria, all of those things are gonna get a signal back from the brain to say, protect, protect. Don't go into healing, we're in a war. And you might be wondering, well, how do we just get the brain to tell the body that it's safe, we can go into healing and repair mode? Well, here's the kicker. About 80% of the vagus nerve signals are coming from the body to the brain. And that vagus nerve is reporting constantly information back up into the brain. So if that vagus nerve is constantly saying we're under fire, we're not safe, there's inflammation, the brain is going to activate the emergency protocols, which is protect and defend, and it's gonna shut down energy for repair. So basically, if you are trying to do healing protocols, but the vagus nerve is sensing that you're not safe, it's going to misrepresent what's happening even though you might be taking the good supplements, the uh, right diet and doing detox, that vagus nerve might be sending signals of not safe, we need to hunker down, we need to protect. And so all of that effort isn't landing very well. The brain is not getting the signal to assist in detoxifying, to assist in digestion, because again, the signaling going back up to the brain is coming from the place of I'm not safe, I'm not okay. So we have to change that signal so that we can get the brain and the body on board with any healing protocol that you might be doing. So why do these immune cells in your body overreact in the first place? Well, in chronic illness, what often happens is that vagus nerve gets in the habit of reporting danger because of the way we're interacting with the world. We might be constantly feeling resistance to our relationship, feeling upset about our work, feeling scared about life in general. And so that's gonna cause the vagus nerve to keep sending signals of unsafety to the brain. And eventually those signals translate back into the immune system and the immune system goes offline. And that's when we end up with chronic inflammation and chronic infection. And from there, what often happens is the vagus nerve, again, always reporting danger, convinces the brain, the CEO, to deploy immune troops which means let's send more immune system messengers into fight mode and defend when maybe the threat isn't as bad as it was and maybe even the infection has passed. And this is what leads into long haul, chronic Lyme, chronic inflammation. This is where we have ongoing flares and even autoimmunity. And the science is clear that the vagus nerve plays a major role in immune regulation. So when your vagal tone is poor, the immune system goes completely off kilter. Meanwhile, your mitochondria will shift into a survival mode instead of the repair mode, like I mentioned earlier. And no matter what you do with all your supplements and protocols, it's not gonna budge until the brain is on board with, we're safe, it's time to thrive, it's time to make energy. So the brain needs to receive a safety signal and it's only gonna do that if the vagus nerve delivers the correct intelligence. All clear, you're not under fire. We can move back into rest and repair. And until that switch flips, you're gonna stay in the loop of defense. 
of reactivity, of flares, of crashes. This is what we teach at Primal Trust, how to strengthen that COO, vagus nerve, and how to fix this chain of operations. In Primal Trust, one of our main goals is built exactly on improving the signaling in the brain and body, switching it to a signal of safety, even if you still have some infection and toxic exposure. We need to down-regulate the threat response, so we train the vagus nerve by vagus nerve toning, breath work, somatic tracking, uh, different brain retraining tools to support the whole body by sending signals of safety to the brain and back down into the body, calming the body down. We help the brain, that CEO, receive and integrate these safety signals so that repair mode is allowed. I'm hoping that makes sense. And I thought maybe the CEO, COO analogy that I heard recently that made so much sense to me would make sense to you. So how do we do this? Well, we have a level one program where we focus all on sending safety signals. We work on getting the brain to get the signal of, even though there's imperfection in the body, overall, I'm okay. I can down-regulate this threat response. We build a container in the autonomic nervous system where it tones the vagus nerve. It gets it stronger so that it's more accurate in its signaling between the brain and the body. We learn how to rest deeply in the body and improve our interoceptive signaling, which also helps the brain receive correct signaling from the body. I know I keep using the word signaling, 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 because that's really at the heart of chronic illness. It's a communication that has gone offline, meaning the signaling through the brain and body is stress, not okay, fight, defense, shut down, protect. No matter how amazing your protocols are, they will not work when that is the signaling that's running between the brain and the body. And if you're somebody dealing with autoimmunity, your immune cells are like soldiers with no clear orders. They're stressed, they're reactive, they're exhausted, they've gotten the signals for too long that you know just go out and fight and then they lose discernment. So the vagus nerve is sort of like the commander giving the uh, body mixed signals when it's not able to be properly toned, be properly stimulated, and when it's not getting the habit of sending calming rest and digest signaling through the body. Again, the science backs this. The research shows that vagus nerve stimulation will improve heart rate variability and autonomic regulation which all improve the immune system balance and decrease inflammation. The vagus nerve is really a big key for chronic illness. So what can you do today? Well, in the last video, I talked about diaphragmatic breathing, breathing through the belly. So go ahead and check out my last video on the vagus nerve to learn about that. In addition, I love going through my day and just humming. Humming vibrates right through here, which triggers the vagus nerve. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, the other thing I love doing is a quick cold shower, just 30 seconds at the end, that also stimulates the vagus nerve. We teach a lot of other practices in Primal Trust known as functional neurology eye exercises as part of our Level 1 Regulate program, as well as several other tools to target your vagus nerve, target your limbic system, and get that CEO to send, we're safe to come out of this war. We are safe to heal. We are safe to repair. And soldiers, you can stand down. We don't need that overactivity anymore. So this is why we say, first fix the system that signals safety. Then your biology can do what it knows how to do. It knows how to self-heal. So next up in our series, we'll go into something I call the sacred pause and how small choices shift your immune health instantly. But for now, practice the breathing and the humming and just knowing that ground zero is signaling safety. And I hope that this is helpful. I'll see you in the next video.